New Zealand is a bucket list spot for many travelers worldwide, and even more so the country's utterly picturesque South Island. This incredible locale boasts an enormous range of landscapes, from some of the region's tallest mountains and slow-flowing glaciers to golden sand beaches and remote fjords. And how can we forget that this was where much of Lord of the Rings' film franchise was shot? So stick around for the best things to do in South Island, New Zealand. Mount Cook Aoraki, Mount Cook, is New Zealand's tallest mountain. And if you're an experienced alpine mountain climber, it's already on your radar. If you actually want to climb to the peak, it's best to book a guided tour, planned for about six days round trip. For those who just want to say they saw this majestic mountain, you can hike the Hooker Valley track instead. The tracks are well marked, so it's an easy walk for all the family. Another unique way to take in Ayaraki is by taking a boat on the world's only accessible glacial lake with icebergs. Abel Tasman National Park Sometimes it seems like everywhere in the South Island is a bucket list spot, and that's undoubtedly true of Abel Tasman National Park. It's widely regarded as one of the most scenically stunning places in all of New Zealand due to its golden sand bays, turquoise waters, and rainforest-filled valleys and peaks. People head to Abel Tasman National Park to tackle the wide variety of hiking trails, but you can also kayak the coastline. Look out for everything from native birds to seals and even dolphins as you go. Before we tell you more about the best of the South Island, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Larnock Castle New Zealand isn't that old of a country by world standards, and while there is an incredibly long Maori history, there isn't much in the way of ancient architecture, so it's a real treat to visit the country's oldest castle. Larnock Castle was built in 1871 by William Larnock, and a tour of the premises offers a fascinating peek into the history of Dunedin, one of the leading centers of the South Island. It's easy to spend a day here, wander the Victorian-era gardens, admire the period-accurate restored interiors, there's even a ballroom, and sit down to high tea in the afternoon. Cable Bay Nelson sits right at the top of the South Island and is a renowned beach town, popular with locals and tourists alike in the summer. Cable Bay is an even smaller town less than 30 minutes drive from this already quaint locale. What's so special about it is its stunning Pebble Beach and Turquoise Harbor, typically filled with yachts and boats, in the warmer months at least. Jump in a kayak and explore the waters, go for a swim, or hike the 8-kilometer-long Cable Bay Walkway. Rakiura, Stewart Island While we're on the subject of New Zealand's islands, did you know there are actually officially three main islands in this lengthy archipelago? Stewart Island sits right at the bottom of the South Island and is only accessible by ferry. It's as remote as you can get, with pretty much nothing between you and Antarctica. Head there for the walking tracks, which take you through untouched forests and coastal climbs full of surprisingly friendly native birds and other creatures like the enormous wicca, a cricket-like bug that's one of the world's heaviest insects. Queen Charlotte Track in Marlborough Sounds The Marlborough Sounds were formed around 14,000 years ago, when rising sea levels drowned the land, creating a network of submerged valleys. There's an incredible network of hiking trails extending throughout the area, but one of the most famous is the 72-kilometer-long Queen Charlotte Track. The best way to reach this scenic locale is by water taxi, so we recommend staying in an accommodation near the track. It's an easy hike, suitable for most ability levels, through undulating, densely forested terrain replete with glimpses of azure water. Expect to see the cheeky Weka, a little ground bird that's unbelievably unafraid of humans. It will likely pop out onto the track as you're walking, searching for bugs to eat. Milford and Doubtful Sounds From the Marlborough Sounds, we head to another set of arguably even more beautiful fjords, Milford and Doubtful Sounds. These scenic spots are so incredible, they're included in the UNESCO World Heritage listings. That's because they're considered one of the world's best preserved representations of what the ancient continent of Gunwanalan looked like. So a visit here means literally stepping back in time to admire glacial valleys and living prehistoric flora and fauna. Explore this area by foot, boat, airplane, or helicopter. Marlborough Wine Region New Zealand is best known for its crisp, herbaceous Sauvignon Blanc wine, and if that's what you like to sample, the Marlborough Wine Region won't disappoint. The area is home to well over 150 wineries, from tiny boutique family-run vineyards to enormous commercial estates. 
If you don't want to rely on a driver to get around, we recommend heading to Renwick, where all 20 or so estates are accessible by bicycle. Street Art and Christchurch If you want a bit of contemporary culture, why not go on a self-guided street art tour in Christchurch? This city is widely considered the country's home of street art, so if you're a fan of the medium, you're in for a treat. And since the earthquake tragically hit the city in 2011, the number of murals ramped up in an effort to beautify the town and lift spirits. Top spots include Litchfield Street and the Riverside Mural, Kaitaki in the YMCA building. Dolphin, Seal, and Whale Watching in Kaikoura One of the biggest reasons people want to go to the South Island is for the marine wildlife. And Kaikoura, a town in the island's northeast, won't disappoint. Here you can jump on a boat and head out into the wild South Pacific Ocean to look for dusky and common dolphins, fur seals, orcas, and most incredibly, enormous sperm whales. On some tours, you can even swim with the dolphins. If you're visiting in the summer, expect large crowds on the boats. Visit in the off-season for a quieter, more bespoke experience. Queenstown Queenstown is the South Island's largest city and the most popular destination for domestic and international tourists, not least because it's where you usually fly from Auckland. That's because it boasts everything from world-class eateries and boutique shopping to incredible scenery and adventure activities. If you're into adventure sports, you can go bungee jumping, skydiving, whitewater rafting, jet boating, or quad biking. Those looking for a more subdued time can head out trout fishing, peruse the surprisingly not tacky souvenir shops, or frequent the many lakeside cafes, restaurants, and bars. Natural Hot Springs Since New Zealand sits on the edge of two tectonic plates, it's full of hot spots where magma rises close to the surface. And this creates something coveted by lovers of relaxation, hot springs. There are over a hundred hot pools across the country, many of them in the South Island. Some of the most popular are located in Hanmer Springs, Maruya, Tecapo, and Queenstown. But probably one of the most incredible locales is the glacier hot pools in Franz Josef. There you can hike the trails around the glacier and head back for a soak in rainforest edged pools. Mount Aspiring National Park the Alpine Mount Aspiring National Park sits just an hour's drive from Wanaka, which is in turn just an hour from Queenstown. This park is one of the region's most beautiful, boasting glaciers, crystal clear lakes and rivers, and some of the most remote wilderness in the world. You can hike, of course, but there are also adventure sports like jet boating and scenic flights on offer. Once you're done with the park, spend some time in Wanaka itself, visiting the Lavender Farm, admiring Lake Wanaka, or glamping in fancy geodesic tents. Punakaiki. If you're into geology, plan a stop at Punakaiki on the South Island's wild, rugged west coast. Many people head here for the pancake rocks, where layers of ancient limestone slowly formed over millennia to create enormous rock towers somewhat resembling stacks of American pancakes. On the windiest days, there's also a dramatic blowhole to admire. The pancake rocks are located inside the Paparoa National Park, so take some time to tackle the trails or take a dip in the Pororari River or Truman Beach. Hokitika Gorge Another spot of unique geology is the Hokitika Gorge, also on the west coast. The gorge was formed millions of years ago by the river carving its way through tough granite walls of the valley. Due to the minerals in the natural rock, the water has a distinctive turquoise hue. There's a wheelchair-accessible viewing platform just four minutes from the parking area, and a short, family-friendly walk follows the river to a swing bridge. Fox or Franz Josef Glaciers the Fox or Franz Josef glaciers are not to be missed. Even if you've been to a glacier before, it's worth getting up close and personal with these stunning examples. It's challenging to hike the glaciers. You'll need a guide and special equipment, including crampons for your boots. Most people who attempt this unforgettable hike fork out the dollars and get a helicopter ride to the top of the glacier and hike down again. Trust us, the incredible ice caves and arches you'll walk through will make all that money worth it. Arrowtown to Gibston Valley Bike Trail Nearby Queenstown is the former gold mining town of Arrowtown. While the town itself is worth a visit for the interesting history and old world charm, it's also the starting point for the Arrowtown to Gibston Valley Bicycle Trail. The trail runs up to 28 kilometers long and is centered around the wineries dotted along the way. Even if you don't drink, the trail is still worth taking for the stunning South Island scenery and clean fresh air. We recommend going in fall while the leaves are changing colors. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on the South Island? Let us know in the comments section below. 
And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.